Welcome to JobSkillsShare.org, our quick videos about IT tools. Last videos we have done a lot of portable stuff, so another portable one. And this portable one is basically about having a browser as a portable tool. Now, why would you need a portable browser? Now, this is usually for an IT person. You get a call by a user, and that user have only Internet Explorer installed on their system, right? And then they're having this issue in this uh, Internet Explorer. And you kind of play around with it and see, okay, things are not good. I mean, I'm not getting it. Let me just quickly try with another browser. Maybe this is an IE issue. Or maybe this software is not compatible with IE. So let's just try Chrome or Firefox. And this is where things get annoying for an IT person that he have to sit down there go to the site, download it, put the username and password, which you don't feel comfortable most of the time. So, you know, th these are the issues that you can come across. So if you have something in your USB or a shared drive uh, where everyone can access, then you can just grab that from there or sh uh, plug in the USB and run the Chrome from it and quickly check the issue. Maybe you will resolve it in a second because you don't have to install anything and you found out that, oh, it was just an IE issue. So let's just go ahead and reset your IE, uh, put your favorites back and all that stuff. So that's why you would need portable Chrome or portable Firefox. To get it, you just need to go to Google, type portable Chrome and click enter like this. And it will take you to this portableapps.com. You click on that and it will take you to this link, portableapps.com. You click on download. This is a secure download. We click on it, make sure it's HTTPS, and then it will start that, and you just click on download direct link, or you can just wait for it, save it. I already did that, and just click on here and install. Click OK, click Next, Agree, Install, and this will install the portable Chrome. So once it's done, you can just click on Finish here, and to find out where it is, you can just go ahead and go to Download, wherever you download it and this is where it is as we extracted now you can copy this make it many many other copies and you can see it's uh, Google Chrome right here now let's test it with another Chrome that I already have installed you can even test it with the one that um, you might have a Chrome already installed and now you want to actually test another Chrome just to make sure it's not a Chrome issue so if I open Chrome right now I see this page opens up so this is one instance of my Chrome but if I open my portable Chrome now open that too as you can see it's a different uh, Chrome now of course people can say oh there's another link but it's actually not it's 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 running totally from that um, that folder you can see right here um, and if let's say for example this one I'm logged in to my Gmail let's see if it's going to pick up my Gmail so if I was using the same Gmail, this would have been just signed on right now. Right now, it's, it should be signed into my Gmail. So this is how you can actually check things, even Chrome versus Chrome. So that is really cool when you have this. And let me tell you one thing that if you go to somewhere like, uh, let's say there's a conference going on or some kind of convention going on and your users are presenting. Now, if your users are presenting and there's only one browser and let's say they are using Office 365 and it's only one browser they won't be able to do this because only one person can log in what if there are three people trying to do uh, quickly check their emails you can actually open three portable chromes like this and have everybody logged into different browsers so everyone can just click on their emails and that's pretty cool because now you don't have to like log off uh, have them come back and do all the same. What if they log off? Somebody forget. To, if somebody just saved the password, and now you need to go back and and reset the Chrome and all that stuff. It just create calls. So you can do this for your users. You can do this for your troubleshooting. So thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it helped you.